You guys started to learn about percents early in elementary school when you were first looking at fractions. But sometimes it can get really confusing, like what was the percent and where is the decimal and how many spots do I move it and all that stuff. When I deal with problems having to do with percents, I remember this simple proportion. If I can remember is over of equals percent over 100, that's a way you can set up pretty much any per percent problem that you're going to come across in your high school career. Percents, by the way, also show up lots of times on standardized tests, high school exit exams, maybe even on the SAT or ACT, so look out. Again, if you can remember, is over of equals percent over 100, that'll help you a lot when you're working with percents. Also, it's really important you know how to work between fractions, decimals, and percents. For example, if I had the fraction 1 fourth, that means 1 divided by 4. So on your calculator, you could type in there 1 divided by 4, and you would get 0 0.25. To turn that into a percent, percent means out of 100. I would multiply 0 0.25 by 100, which is the same thing as moving the decimal place two spots to the right, so I could write this as 25%. It's really important you guys are able to move back and forth between all these different representations. It's the same value, just written with three different forms.